Emmanuel Macron opened the door to European nations sending troops to Ukraine. Guillen. Disbursement of public investment capital in 2023 reaches 95.04%. Hungary approves Sweden's NATO accession. Hello, so good to see you again in today's news. At an international conference in support of Ukraine in Paris on the evening of February 26th, the French President Emmanuel Macron just called for a new wave of support for Ukraine to ensure that Russia cannot win. The French President opened the door to European nations sending troops to Ukraine. French President Emmanuel Macron emphasized that the West will do everything to prevent Russia from winning the battle, considering this as an essential factor to ensure security and stability for Europe. Referring to the possibility of the West sending troops into Ukraine, Mr. Macron said, although, there is no official consensus on sending troops into Ukraine, to be proactive, nothing is ruled out. Europe will do what it must do to ensure that Russia cannot win. In a related move, the European Union also previously agreed on using benefits gained from Russian investments and assets in Europe to create a support fund for Ukraine. On the evening of February 26, top typical specialized medical projects of the year were awarded the 2023 Vietnam Medical Treatment Award. With the theme, Intensive Medical Development, the 2023 Vietnam Medical Achievement Award honored 12 out of 90 projects of medical achievements. Those projects are highly evaluated by a professional council. In addition, the 12 best projects got more than 100,000 voting messages through Switchboard 8136 and via Facebook. The total value of the prizes is worth more than 600 million Vietnamese dongs. This is the fourth consecutive year the award has been held to express gratitude and honor the scientific value and contributions of physicians to public health. Nghệ An's disbursement of public investment capital in 2023 reaches 95.04%. This information was given at the February regular meeting hosted by the Provincial People's Committee this morning. Regarding the public investment plan for 2023, by January 31, 2024, the total public investment plan for 2023 has dispersed nearly 8,590 billion Vietnamese dongs, reaching 95.0% of the plan assigned at the beginning of the year. Of which, more than 5,217 billion Vietnamese dongs of concentrated public investment capital has been dispersed, reaching 93.44%. By February 22, 2024, the province has newly granted six projects with a total investment capital of more than 7,635 billion Vietnamese dongs. Accumulated as of February 22, 2024, the whole province has granted 14 new projects, adjusted 25 projects, with a total capital of more than 10,908 billion Vietnamese dongs. Upcoming are some updated news. The Hungarian parliament has approved Sweden's NATO accession with 188 votes in favor and six votes against. The official document is expected to be signed by the president of Hungary in the next few days, completing Budapest's approval process for Stockholm, ending more than 18 difficult months of delay, opening the door for Stockholm to enter the union after nearly two years of tense negotiations. NATO Secretary General, Mr. Jens Stoltenberg said that this military alliance will soon become stronger. The ceremony to admit new members usually takes place at NATO headquarters in Brussels, Belgium. At the ceremony, related documents are signed before being sent to the U.S. to complete official accession procedures. Recently, 
Deputy Prime Minister Lei Min Kai signed Decision No. 194 promulgating a national action plan to implement the Vietnamese government's commitments on preventing and combating money laundering, sponsoring terrorism and sponsoring the proliferation of destructive weapons. The goal is to implement and complete the National Action Plan to implement the Vietnamese government's commitments on preventing and combating money laundering, sponsoring terrorism and sponsoring the proliferation of destructive weapons to Financial Task Force FATF. Soon remove Vietnam from the Enhanced Review List gray list, on the basis of ensuring maximum national interests. Guy in Department of Industry and Trade has just coordinated with the Vietnam Trade Office in Houston, America to organize an online conference, the U.S. Market, Trade and Investment Opportunities in 2024. The United States is currently the fourth largest export market of Guy in. In 2023, the bilateral export turnover reached nearly US$245 million. United States dollars. Meanwhile, the total value of goods imported by Guyan's businesses from the U.S. was US$25 million. United States dollars. At the conference, the two sides agreed to establish a regular information channel about products, businesses, barriers and technical standards so that the bilateral businesses can learn from, exchange and cooperate with each other. In Yeon, in recent years, the voluntary blood donation movement has increasingly developed. Doctors and nurses at hospitals in the province, in addition to their professional efforts to cure patients, are always ready to donate their blood at any time to save the patients' lives, helping to ensure a reserve blood source in hospitals. More in the story. It can be said that donating blood to save patients has become a very regular thing for many doctors and nurses at hospitals in the province to do. Many of those people don't hesitate to share their blood dozens times. They are even ready to be at Living Blood Warehouse to promptly save ill patients from dangerous moments. The shortage of blood resources may result in failure to save the patient's life. Therefore, we are very willing to donate blood. This activity gradually becomes common, reflects a traditional beauty of the medical team. I myself have donated blood many times. Every year there are large blood donation drives, for example, White Coat Day, throughout the medical industry with over 1,000 units of blood collected. There is also Red Sunday, Red Journey, with the participation of a large number of people. No doubt, meaningful activities the doctors and nurses have done to their patients are spreading the voluntary blood donation movement strongly in the community, giving sick people hope for life. It is a journey with human love that helps to create a better life for everyone. The last story just ended our program today. Thank you so much for your attention. Goodbye and see you later.